So hey, what's up guys? We are back with another video. So in this video, we are gonna make a 3D text. So you can look at it. So we have to first open Cinema 4D. Then I will click transform it a bit right? I have to change the color. then go to save and browse and just write name 3d or something you want then just render it and then just make a 2d one so for the 2d one you can make it zero and then go to save name it 2d and then just render it so after we gonna render it just open photoshop i loaded up my photoshop here so as you can see this is the psd i'm gonna give you and we gonna make a new layer and uh, we're gonna choose this one and just import those import these here then resize it resize it then you can go in this one disable this disable this this is the glow this is for your choice if you don't wanna add then it's okay it's your choice to add or not i'm gonna show what you can add to make it good So as here, I first lower the saturation and decrease the lightness. You don't have to actually do it. So something like this. I'm gonna disable these ones first. Yep, these ones. I did this one. Then you can add hue saturation to make it blue. Something like this. I'm gonna copy the layers and paste it on the 2D layer and then the second on the 3D layer you can see right here mm, let me add a solid background mm, something like this Can lower the size yeah. 
then we are gonna add this lightning effects Right hand right there, then merge linear dodge add hue saturation to blue. Then you wanna merge it, then you need dodge again. After that, you can add these ones in the back. Something like that. Then we are gonna again add hue saturation to make it blue. Not this one. Something like this, yep. I'm gonna pr provide this text PXD in the description so you can use that for making 3D text. Yep, something like this. Then we group the text. Convert to smart object, make it a little bit big. Go to gradient map, so after doing this. We are gonna add this one. Right here. Change the hue saturation again. Yep. something like this I'm doing random things so it can look good Hmm. Now we are gonna add this ones. Something right there. Hmm, right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Then new saturation. this box so 
something like there. Like there. Yep. I'm not comping completely, but you can. In these rectangles thingy. Right here. You can add this to want. Yep. I'm gonna add this too. Right there. Yep, something like this. So we can say it's somewhat completed. Then I'm gonna make a background. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm gonna. So just this one. This one. This one. And this one. White. And then the blue one. Hmm, something like this. Then I'm gonna press it here. Alt, control plus Alt plus Shift plus E. Not here. Yep. And then. Right here. Yep, something like this. <clears throat> Sorry. Then we're gonna name it text. Add a drop shadow. Black. Increase the size. Yep. Something like this. Then we are gonna add our glows. Add the close 
Then control plus alt plus shift plus E. Go to filter, camera raw filter. Then we are gonna add a camera raw. So I think it's pretty much done. So thanks for watching. Let's meet in the next video. Goodbye.